Hey guys, welcome back. This is the uh, last video for this installation up in York in Western Australia. Um, I'm doing a voiceover on this one as the original audio was pretty bad. There was a lot of background noise and so forth, so I thought uh, I'll do a voiceover. Um, so uh, if, I, if I leave any information out and you guys have questions, please ask in the comments or send me an email. I'm more than happy to answer questions. And uh, also please like and subscribe, uh, that's appreciated. So here's the Able Generator, 8kVA, that's all installed now. And um, that is hardwired back to the Sunny Island Inverter, the SMA Sunny Island Inverter. You can see the conduit just at the bottom of the screen there going into the generator. Um, in that conduit is our power cable, uh, which as I mentioned is hardwired, going back to the inverter. And also inside that conduit is a, uh, another uh, cable to maintain the battery on the generator. It's really important with an off-grid system that the generator has a, a healthy battery because the generator may not start that often, but when it is needed, it's needed and it has to start. So there's nothing worse than uh, the standalone or off-grid system calling for the generator and the generator can't start because it's got a flat battery. So I always include a little Victron battery charger that manages the, um, the battery on the generator to ensure it will always start. Um, just in the background there, you saw a heat pump hot water system. They're perfect for off-grid systems and uh, I'll talk about them more in another video. Uh, at a later stage. So there's the completed system. Um, two SMA inverters installed on my custom made cabinet there. Nice and neat, apart from all those ridiculous labels that we have to put on uh, to comply with standards. Uh, the red inverter there is your string inverter and that yellow one there is the off-grid or standalone inverter. So that's the heart of the off-grid system. And um, just below that you can see the blue Victron little battery charger. That is looking after the uh, battery on the generator to make sure it's always ready to go. Here is the Power Plus Energy battery cabinet. This cabinet can take four batteries. We've only got two in there. And um, that was a conscious decision. It is, it's not very much battery capacity and it's, it's not going to be enough for these clients. The generator will probably run a little bit in the mornings. Um, but uh, they were on a budget and we only put the two batteries in to get them up and running and they're going to add more batteries as and when their budget allows. The downside to that is the generator is going to run, which isn't the end of the world. Um, they're out in a rural property, so it really doesn't matter. They're just going to spend a bit of money on diesel. So these, is, these are 4840 Eco batteries, um, eight kilowatt hours in total. We can add another two to that cabinet. And then we can even add another battery cabinet next to it uh, to give us 32 kilowatt hours of storage. Um, the key thing is here, all the main components are correctly sized and it's very easy for them to add batteries at a later date if they need to. And um, that way they've got a fully functioning, powerful system all set to go. Uh, Power Plus Energy is a self-managed battery. The top section of the battery has a BMS in it. So when I set it up, I just set it up as a lead acid battery in the standalone inverter and just set all the correct charge parameters. And uh, that's really important that you set all the correct charge parameters. Otherwise, you may damage the batteries. Um, but a very good quality product, Australian made, Australian owned, um, fantastic. So here's the system online and you can see the red there on the, on the graph, that is the generator running. So you can see it has run a fair bit um, as they get used to it and make some small adjustments to their lifestyle so that uh, the generator doesn't run too much. And uh, as you can see there as we go into the warmer days the generator is hardly running. Uh, so that's what you would see online if you have an SMA system. So that's basically it guys. Uh, thank you for watching the series of videos and um, please like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing so you get notified when they come out. Cheers. See ya.